ranking the Modern Warfare 2 maps. What's good, every single one of you beautiful, amazing people? It's your boy, Cynical Baz, and today we're going to be doing a T list video of ranking Modern Warfare 2 maps. I've played this game for, I'd say, roughly maybe 20 hours. I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts, as you've seen in the previous video. I had a lot of thoughts about this game, and my main gripe has been the maps. The maps are the worst thing about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Hands down, the worst thing. Close second would be the fucking time to kill. But the maps are literally one of the worst things. Actually, the worst thing about the game. So I thought, you know what? It'd be fun to rank them. Because I hate them all. First one, we got Al Bakhra Fortress. Oh, this map's pretty ass, man. Too many, too many, too many windows. Too many vantage points. It's on a smaller side, which is the only thing going for it. But he has so many vantage points and so many spawn trap points that it just makes it an automatically shitty, shitty map. And that, to me, is khara. He's absolute ass. But compared to some other maps, as you're about to see, it's a decent map. I do write in it sometimes. I do pretty decent. So I'm not going to hold it against it. I'm going to put it on C. Next one we have is the Zakwar Electric. You know what? I don't even know the names of half these maps. I just know them by the looks. Now, this map has some of the most worst camping spots. And the most broken thing in this map is the fact that you can swim from your spawn all the way under to the other people's spawn and just kill them. And guess what? With that thing implemented in the map, people still camp in this map. Especially on top of the electric building by the window. This map has the, one of the worst flows. It's like absolute shit. Has some of the worst camping spots and some of the worst vantage points. And it's it's a very relatively kind of medium sized map, but still you can run around the entire side and turn around just to get shot in the back by someone that was supposed to be in your own spawn. So this map, the only thing going for it is when you jump in the water and you can shoot. That's it with the mates, you know, kicking back, having a laugh. That's the only reason. Other than that, this map's entirely broken, and to be honest, it's worse than Al Bakhra Fortress, definitely on D. This fucking museum map, they don't, they don't have it anymore, but it, if I was to put it, it'd be one of the worst maps. This map is huge, huge for no fucking reason. It is huge when I played it in the beta, and I remember hating it. And if I'm so happy, I'm so happy they took it off the game. Thank you, licensing issues. I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy. Because this map, originally, I fucking hated it. It was ass. It was garbage. It was khara. Anyway, next one. <laughs> A very popular one, indeed, is the Santa Marina, whatever it's called, border crossing map. You guys know this one. The infamous Santa Marina border crossing map. This map is absolute garbage. This map is absolute garbage. You need to run a whole triathlon just to find someone. And don't get me started on the fucking cars. All is stuck in between the middle. The fuck thought it'd be a good idea to make a Call of Duty map with all cars in the middle and two lanes on the side. Bro, that was the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. The only, like, one of the decent three lane ideas, and you put it in this map. The three lanes in this idea, in this map, is absolute garbage. You put too many cars in the middle, too many fucking points where people can be hiding behind cars and shooting, people on the right side, people on the left side, and you have to run a whole triathlon just to find someone. And by the time you do run that triathlon, you get shot in the back. Honestly, whoever designed this map needs to be fired, needs to be crucified, needs to be, his dick needs to be cut off. It should never work ever, ever again in any video game. Your devs, no, you should be a dev, you should be fired, you should be blacklisted for any, any, any multiplayer game that involves creating or developing maps. Because these designs are one of the worst fucking designs I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, this map got me heated. This map is absolutely F, worst fucking map in the history of Call of Duty. El Asilo. Oh, what can I say about El Asilo? Is, can be. If you're playing Domination, you have to can be. And when you can be, that's where you're going to get all the kills. If you take control of the middle of El Asilo, you will practically win the game. This map has some of the worst design in terms of how many fucking little nooks and crannies there are in this map. It's, it's such a huge outlook. With the spawns having just grass and nothing else. And some random buildings in between. Just too many fucking buildings. 
and then there's an upstairs and a downstairs and a little stairway and there's a little building here there's a little room here there's a little room there this, this whole map is fucked it's like a baby came in well let me just dirty this whole fucking design and fuck it up this map has oh the rage inducing times i've had in this map especially when playing hardpoint there is so many places where someone could be hiding in this map and it's just so the, the spawns are so vastly open Oh god bro, I've had some of the worst times in this map. Especially when grinding for camos. Oh my god. Is it worse than electric? I'd say it's on par. I'd definitely put it over it though. It's still shit. Like I'm saying before, um, these are all maps are all shit. But just some are more shit than others. That's it. That's all it is. Anyway, we go to farm 18. Farm 18 is probably the best map in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 to 2022. It's probably it has fairly decent you know three lanes he has the three lanes and he has the um he has the little building in, in the middle which is fun to go in and use your shotgun or just you know obliterate no one really runs b it's very hard but that's what's fun about it you can go to the right go to the left but like i'm saying this this map still has camping spots this still map still has so many nooks and crannies this map still has flow issues this map still has spawn trapping issues this map has a lot of issues, but in terms of overall design, it's not too bad. I've had my best games on Farm 18, and it's the only map that you can play 1v1s on because it's kind of the smallest or, and more structurally, you know, structurally sound map in terms of it is just like similar to other older Call of Duty maps. The simple design but still has some very bad spots and very bad camping spots, especially on the right side. Where bomb, I don't know where the B or A bomb is. That side needs to be just needs to be removed. I have no idea why it's there. It has issues, but one more warfare 2 map doesn't have issues. I'll put it at definitely put it at B. It's no map's gonna top this map. It's just the best map in the game, and I hope. I hope if that's your best, Moro Warfare 2, you have some issues, man. I'm gonna come out and say it, bro. NBC is fucking garbage, but NBC is garbage. It's not as bad as the border crossing, but NBC is garbage. It's only on par with how garbage this map is. This map has the worst flow I've ever seen any fucking map in my entire life. You have one little walkway, two huge buildings, and it's a campus paradise, bro. This map is a campus paradise. Any camper is happy in this map. Camp in one of those windows, camp on top, camp to the left, camp to the right, camp upstairs, camp downstairs, camp in the bathroom stalls. Camp on the fucking, in the walkway. Go upstairs in the little ladder and camp on top of the building with a sniper. In the amount of time, man of fucking times I've raged off this map is unreal, bro. And that's why this map is on D, and it's the worst part of D, and it is so fucking garbage. I barely had any good games on this map. This map has so many nooks and crannies, so many issues. It's a repeating cycle with Moral Warfare 2. Ah, oh, bro. Let's move past it, man. I'm getting too mad. Tarak, whatever it's called, Tarak, 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 Tarak is absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. Sometimes I think it's worse than Santa Marina Border Crossing. This map is open for no reason. You set me in a fucking desert with so many camping spots, so many vantage points that if some person can sit and watch the whole, whole horizon with this cup of tea, and his fucking biscuit, and sit down and look on top of B, and just A, B, and so, pa, 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 shoot every fucking guy who walks past. If you take control of the spawn point, especially in the A, on the right side, you guys know what I'm talking about, bro, you can just spawn trap the every, ever living hell out of everybody, and no one will be able to get you. You can just literally sit there, on so many mounting spots, and just, and, just, and just kill people who run past. You, you cannot, you cannot run in the open in this map, because you will die. You have to be so sneaky, you have to be going through B, going through those buildings, and by the time you die, you spawn in the open part of the map, and you start running, and boom, you die. You're dead by some guy with a vantage sniper. This map has some of the worst fucking flow, some of the worst camping, some of the worst, worst issues, some of the worst vantage points, some of the worst, oh my god, worst rages I've had in my life in this map. The only way you can go good in this map is if you stick where B is, in mid and you take control of that spot you take control of that spot you have a decent game other than that i've had some of my worst games on this map 
to be honest, I've had some of my best, but that's why I'm saying. Because I've had good games and bad games on this map. The only way I've had good games on this map is when I've camped. Timber Hotel is the second best map in the game, in my opinion. You guys are gonna hate on me, but to me, this, this map, I've had one of them, most of my good games on this map. And um, this map has a lot of issues as well. This map has a lot of camping spots. I'm gonna reiterate and say this map has a lot of camping spots, bro. Every map has a lot of camping spots. Number one, it's a cost of fuck, and it's the worst thing ever for streaks. If you want good streaks, and if you want, if you ever get good streaks in this map, if you ever get your VTOL, your chopper gunner, bro, it's fucking useless. I got a gunship in this. Gunship, a fucking gunship in this map. And I got two kills. Because it's all inside a building. The sky streets, fucking useless. Absolutely useless. It has a lot of flow issues. The maps are just so cluster fucked with so many just left, right walkways that make no sense. And that's legit the only bad things I have to say about this map. In the beta, I hated this map, but I've grown to like it as I played it in the actual full game. But it's still an ass map. It's definitely better than the Fortress though. A lot of people I've seen love Crown Raceway. Crown Raceway is mid. It's fucking mid, bro. This map also has a lot of issues. Man, it's one of the more fast-paced maps, but it does have issues. It has a lot of watching points, especially, you know, with those things that it find from A to B, where people just mount. That's the worst thing about this map. But besides that, in my opinion, I've had all my I've had decent games in this map. And I can't say really think about anything bad. It has like three lanes. It's okay. As long as you take middle, you'll be fine. Just like every other COD map. The Crown Raceway is decent enough to be warrant in the fourth spot. It's not as good as the hotel. But still, pretty good. In terms of Modern Warfare. It's shit map, but in terms of Modern Warfare, it's pretty good. Last but not least, Mercado, whatever it's called, La Almas. Almas is a, I have a love-hate relationship with this map. There is gameplays where I've gone 20 and 1. 35 and 5 in this map and there's games where you get completely obliterated this map has a lot of spawn issues has a lot of vantage point issues especially when you run through mid don't you even dare run through mid you, i want you to go hop on model Warfare 2 now try to run through mid in this map bro, just just run through it if you survive and go to the other side i will i will gladly bro give you a kiss because that is impossible to do that is impossible to do. Granted by the fact that this has a lot of spawn issues, vantage point issues, camping issues, as well as two random buildings on the left side and the right side, especially the one on the left side, I don't know how to explain it, the one with that tall second story building. Those, why is that there? Number one, why is that building there? You can deal with those two houses. This map would be perfectly okay. It does have a lot of spawn issues, but besides the point, I've had one of my, a lot of my best games on this map. I generally, you know, I, I never skip this map. I enjoy it. It's a great map in terms of Modern Warfare status. It's definitely better than Crown Raceway. And we're going to keep it on C. Now, as for these maps, I'm not going to bother because I don't play Invasion. And when I do, I hated it. I hated my life. So I'm not going to bother play, putting these on. These maps are all ass to me. Garbage. The worst thing about Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 has issues where they're putting Warzone maps and making them into multiplayer. They're thinking Warzone first, multiplayer second. And because people like me who don't play Warzone that much, I'm not a big fan of Battle Royales. I've, I've said it many times. I'm sick of it. That the fact that it's, it's, it's making these maps so campy and huge. They made them huge for absolutely no fucking reason. Listen to the fan base. Listen to the community. Make these maps simpler, smaller, and more concise with less nooks and crannies. I'm telling you, you got a gem on your hands. Modern Warfare 2 is not a bad game, but it has so many issues that can be easily be solved with just some tweaks, bro. Some new maps, some new maps, some simple, simple three laned maps. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this tier list, make sure you like, subscribe to this video. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. Very, very close. Love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.